So you guys, do you know that watermelon juice can help you to remove wrinkles on your hands and your fingers? Now, especially in this time where you have the weather over here in Africa is so dry. So a lot of a lot of people's hands are looking so wrinkled and aged, all right? And as a result, your hands will be looking very, very dry. And then people will be like, well, what is going on, okay? So you do not want that. You want a very healthy and a fresh, plump looking hands. And also you want your skin also to look beautiful. So this is something you can equally apply on your skin and have your skin looking plump and glowing. All right, you guys, so you need just a little watermelon and then I'm going to be taking, just like you can see, I'm going to be taking just a little cut of my watermelon. And then we're going to prepare it. Okay, you guys, so we're going to be blending that. Putting any other water, just the um, watermelon itself. Okay, you guys, so here it is. So I'm not going to be sieving this out, okay? I'm going to be putting just a little quantity of my watermelon, all right? Not sieving it out. The shaft, everything is in here. So yeah, again, I'm going to be making it of rice. You guys, this is my rice. All right. Um, you can literally just get your rice from the kitchen and then you process it into um, using it. Okay. For this particular one, I actually cook the rice and then I now um, blended it into a puree. Okay. Let me go do that. So here it is. It smells really nice. Okay, you guys, so what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be scooping in the rice into my watermelon. And then we mix it. I mix it well you guys this is a great wrinkle you know remedy that would actually vanish your wrinkle on your hands leaving your hands looking so beautiful okay so again we're going to be making use of um sugar you guys here is my brown sugar however for this you can actually use white sugar if you don't have brown sugar but brown sugar is more more effective now brown sugar is loaded with little granite particles that actually help so much in scrubbing out dead skin cells on your skin that is actually responsible in making your skin look dull rough and dry so i'm going to be scooping in about three to four spoon of my um, of my sugar and then we would now mix it all up so 
so here again we're going to be making use of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda you guys now baking soda is used in baking it also helps so much for the skin because it helps so much to scrub out dead skin cells it leaves your skin so soft and supple and it glows your skin okay so i'm going to be putting about two tablespoons of my baking soda actually a perfect mixture for your wrinkled hands and wrinkled legs okay so you can actually apply it onto your legs also to remove that dryness and your hands will be looking so soft and sweet so after that then you you take this gently and generously onto your hands just like this you start from this you start from your fingers and then you scrub little gently scrub it gently just like this okay you do that to your right hand because most of the time i know that we do not always remember how to scrub our right hands so you have to do that scrub your right hand so that you know your hands can be looking evenly scrubbed okay so when you do that make sure you remember your palm and then you scrub your palm generously just like this Okay, so when you do that, make sure you, you can actually scrub this for like one minute or two minutes. Okay, that's 60 seconds or 90 seconds, okay? Do that really, really well. Now, as you scrub, you guys, you're going to notice that your hands are going to get really soft, really soft and really soft, okay? And then, um, you just hold it on just like this for some few minutes. And then, after a few minutes, then you can, you know, um, wash this off. Alright, when you wash this off, you guys, you're going to notice that your hands are going to be so soft. Very, very soft. However, you can use a oil vitamin E oil just like this one okay vitamin E oil okay. and then you apply it onto your hands that way your hands will stay soft and supple or if you have the capsule the capsule of this vitamin E is cheaper so you can use the capsule just pour it onto your hands and rub it all through like your hands is going to stay supple and soft for the rest of the day all right so for this one you can store it you guys and use it for like um let's say 
three to four times in a week don't use every day you can skip a day in between and then scrub and then your hands will be looking so soft and supple and younger again okay mm -hmm. 